The black mamba is an extremely venomous snake native to parts of sub-Saharan Africa. It is the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra. They get their name not from their skin color, which tends to be olive to gray, but rather from the blue-black color of the inside of their mouth, which they display when threatened. Most mambas are arboreal. Their long, slender yet strong bodies are well suited to traversing and camouflaging themselves amongst tree branches and vines. The only exception is the black mamba, which is primarily terrestrial. They are Africa's longest venomous snake, reaching up to 4.3 meters in length. The body mass of black mambas has been reported to be about 1.6 kilograms. Mambas are diurnal. They are active during the day and sleep at night. Black mambas are carnivores. They mostly eat little birds or their nestlings and fledglings, rodents, bats, hyraxes or dassies, and lesser bush babies. Sometimes they feed on other snakes. Black mambas don't grip the prey after biting. They release the prey and wait for it to paralyze. Thereafter they swallow it. Mambas are really fast. They're actually some of the fastest snakes on the planet. In particular, black mambas can move as quickly as 18 kilometers per hour. The black mambas are agile and swift in movements. They are unpredictable and often change their direction while moving on the ground. Black mambas can tolerate humans coming closer to it. But it feels safe only if the person is at 40 meters distance. When it senses any threat, it quickly moves into a bush or hole. Mambas rear up and display their hoods when threatened. Because they're related to cobras, mambas actually have hoods similar to those of cobra species like the king and Indian cobras. However, mambas' hoods are much narrower and less prominent. If an attacker persists, the mamba will strike not once, but repeatedly, injecting large amounts of potent neuro and cardiotoxin with each strike. Before the advent of black mamba antivenin, a bite from this fearsome serpent was almost always fatal. Black mamba venom is so powerful that it can make a full-grown man collapse within 45 minutes after envenomation. Death is certain if an antidote isn't provided, and even with an antidote, the prognosis is not always positive. They have a specialized organ known as the Jacobson's organ, which is involved in the snake's chemical communication and in hunting prey. The organ processes stimuli and helps the snake to detect what is in its environment and where potential prey is. They often use their eyesight, mainly for detection of motion, and sudden movements will cause them to strike. The breeding season spans from September to February. Rival males compete by wrestling attempting to subdue each other by intertwining their bodies and wrestling with their necks. During mating, the male will slither over the dorsal side of the female while flicking its tongue. The black mamba typically lays 6 to 20 eggs. Incubation lasts around 3 months. When hatched, the young range from 40 to 60 centimeters in length. They are independent directly from birth and have to be able to care for themselves. Snakelets may grow quickly, reaching 2 meters after their first year. Juvenile black mambas are very apprehensive and can be deadly like adults. In the wild, black mambas will typically live at least 11 years, while those in captivity have lifespans of more than 20 years. Even though most bites are fatal, it is responsible for only a small number of deaths annually, and unprovoked attacks on humans have not been proved. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running.